my name is Ale Belmont. I'm a PTCU instructor and I teach uh, PTC Creo courses. In my generative topology optimization class session that I usually get to teach to students, I tend to get asked about what the tool does exactly. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, the generative design tool pretty much lets you uh, take a part file or a product that you've had worked on previously and you have the ability to let the software help you uh, optimize, come up with alternative solutions to it. Um, now, when you go through the process of putting the product through the generative optimization tool, uh, you do have to go through um, a material selection. You have to go through and define uh, different types of geometry that you might want to optimize, different types of geometry that you might want to preserve, and then types of geometry that you might want to exclude. Um, now, when you go through that process, remember you have to go and define physics, so you're going to have to apply loads, constraints, contact definition, all of that is very important. Um, the most important part of this tool here uh, would be the design criteria section. This is where you get to define manufacturing constraints, uh, so there's no misconception of the fabrication method that you want to use for this. Um, so when you go through that, you assign the material and then you get to specify, let's say you want to optimize material usage. Uh, you can say, OK, um, let me tell the software, hey, I want to achieve 30% of the original weight of my product. Can I do that? So you define that in the, in the design criteria, and then after you get through that process, you uh, focus on optimizing your model. You'll get one solution as a result of that, and then from that solution, you get to analyze it uh, just to verify whether or not you can actually use it. Uh, it's kind of like a trial and error type of thing. So when you go through that process, you're going to want to do the generative topology optimization uh, maybe a couple of different times. You'll probably change a couple of things in the design criteria section. Um, and then once you get the end results that you're happy with, what you're going to focus on doing is exporting that design. You're going to generate a reconstructed geometry from it. And you can still perform any of the Creo parametric functions uh, that the Creo parametric software offers as well. Uh, so if you're interested in this, if you want to learn more about generative design, uh, just come join me in the classroom for my class. It's called Creo Generative Topology Optimization. Mm -hmm.